Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. It's myself, Alan. Today I want to have a quick look at colors in Cubase. And um, when you open up Cubase 13 now, you get eight standard colors. So if you go up here and you click up here, you will just see eight colors appear. And as you can see, I've got a lot more colors. But it's easy to make your own um, colors and then save them. If you want to do this, what you do is go up to project, click on project, go down to project color setup. And as you can see here, these are the colors that I have. A lot more colors, which is really good because if you're doing a drum part, you can put them all different colors of pink or all different colors of red for bass or whatever you want to. Um, you can go in here. If you see up here, if I reset this back, these are the eight basic colors that you get the standard colors with Cubase. And if I change these, the number of basic colors, if I change it to 16, you'll see the numbers multiply. You can go up to 24, you can go to 32. You can also change the number of color tints um, from one, two, or four. So there's two and there's four. You can also change the basic colors to color tints, which there they are there. And if I change that back to basic colors, if you want to save this, you can press apply and this will save them. Then you can also go into uh, set colors as default. And if you click on that, then it'll save the colors as a default. And every time you open up, you um, it'll open up those colors. And if you want to go back to previous, um, projects that you've been working on, you can also just go in and set the color to default and those colors will come up. And if you want to reset it, it's easy to do reset it. You can click on reset color to factory settings and that will bring it back to um, the eight colors that you get with Cubase. Another thing I wanted to show you is someone was asking me about how I get the MIDI parts um, to color because in some of my projects, you will see uh, these are colored. And um, these are the pitches, and I have the each pitch is set to a different color, and it's, um, it's fairly easy to do. If you open up here, go up to where it says velocity, you click on that, and you change it to pitch, and now you'll see the pitches have been colored. And if I want to change the colors, which I'll show you how to do, you press on setup, if I go in here and just take uh, the E, I can change that to whatever color I want to. I want to change it to blue. I just press OK and it'll change and press OK and it'll change to blue. I'll just change it back now. As you see now, it's gone back. So you can change this um, to whatever colors you want to. So it, when you're looking at MIDI parts, it's very easy to see um, what notes are there rather than having it uh, this way. It's a, lot, it's a lot easier to have it that way. Another thing someone asked me about was uh, about how I got this. This is, if I go into projects, and I click on divide track list, then this line will appear and you can move the line up and hide stuff. So if I pull that down in here, I have um, like the MIDI channels, I have the marker, the chord track, the signature, the tempo, and then I have them all set. And then when I want to, when I'm working on a project, I can just cover them up and um, that's it. They're in, they're out of the way. Everything's nice and clean. I'll just show you, if you want to drag something up into it, I have a reverb track here. Um, if I just pull that up, you can just drop that in there. And the same, if I want to change the color on that, I can change it whatever color I want to. And then when I finished, I can just close it all off. Okay, hope that comes in handy for you. And don't forget to click and like and subscribe and leave me a comment if there's anything else you want to find out about in Cubase 30. 30 and I'd be only happy uh, to show you. Until next time, take care of yourself. Bye.